want to do a quick demo of how to set up the text styles that we need in order to follow the IDCAD standards. There's a number of different types of text and different sizes we need. And I would recommend setting up a style based on each of the different fonts and each of the different sizes. And if you do it ahead of time, then you've got them when you need them. So there's a couple of different ways to get into the style manager. You can either come down to the command prompt here and type in ST and it'll take, it, take you in there. Or you can go to the annotate tab, look for the text area here and click on the arrow down here. So either way. We are going to be using annotative text, so we want to start with the annotative style, and then what we're going to do is click on the new button, and we want to name our style. There's a couple different ways you could name them. I would recommend just do something that's going to make sense to you. The way I like to name them is based on the font and the size, so that then I can easily say, okay, this type of text is supposed to be Arial 1 8 inch, so I pick that style. The other way you can do it is you can label it according to how it will be applied, and if we look at the text standards in our, our CAD standards, you know, you could label it drawing labels, you could label it notes dimensions, whatever is going to make sense to you. So what we're going to do, go back to my drawing here, is I'm going to start by making the um, stylus BT uh, font. So I'm going to make my 3 32nd first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, adjust the font and find my stylus BT down here. Keep going past it. There we go. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and set this paper text height to the height that I want. So I want it to be 3 30 seconds of an inch. And then I'm going to hit apply. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my, uh, my next one, which is going to be stylus BT. One eighth, and then all, all I have to do because I've already selected the font is I can just change my paper text height and hit apply. And I'm just going to keep going. Um, when I want to, let me make the last one here stylus BT, and that'll be 3 sixteenths. And that one will change to 3 sixteenths and hit apply. And then uh, when I make my next batch of them, I'm going to do the aerial ones now. And then for that one, the paper text height is correct. I just need to change the font. So you just want to make sure that you set these up correctly according to the standards. You always want to set the paper text height to the size you want the text to plot. So I'm not going to go through and create, there's just a couple more to create, but I would go through and make each of the, um, Arial needs also a 3 16 of an inch, and then you're going to have an Arial bold that's going to be a, a 1 half inch that we use for the, in the title blocks. So I would go ahead and set all of those up ahead of time, and then I'm going to do a separate demo on how to then use the annotative feature when you're placing text.